Hello, everybody. So today is my birthday. I am now 23. Well, it was my birthday on the 7th of May. I am filming this on the 8th of May, early in the morning, but probably the date down there will say 7th of May or whatever. Got this great big cup today with the moustache on it that I got when they first moving in here. But today, I thought I would show you all my birthday haul. Um, well, what people got me for my birthday, I got some really, really great stuff this year. Also, first, I'm just going to show my sister made me this birthday cake that is somewhere on the screen. As you can see, it's a clapperboard, and it's absolutely awesome. That is a vegan cake as well that she made me, and she just put it all out with that and just made an awesome cake and made it so nice and personal that was just, just great, and I'm really happy with that, and it tastes amazing as well. It's like a chocolate cake. I was like this um, sort of... Um, Oh, what it is, but, but like sponge cream stuff inside, but yes, but it's all vegan and it is amazing. And I still have a whole tin of it left in the um the fridge, so I'm gonna eat that soon. But now I am going to go into talking about what I got today, showing you everything that I got today. Um, I'm going to try and talk a bit slower in my videos from now on because someone said they watched my neighbor's review. My friend Joe said he watched my neighbor's review, and it sounded like I was rapping at points because of how quick. I decide to talk in my videos. I sometimes like to talk quickly because it's just how I get my points across quickly of what I'm talking about. But today, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk in my normal pace of how I'm talking right now. So let's get down to doing this. The light just went on my camera, and the light is back. There we go. So first off, I'm gonna show you what my mum what mum got me. Let me just um first off, she got me Glenn Glenn from The Walking Dead. Glenn is pretty much my favourite person in The Walking Dead, in, in the graphic novel and in the TV show, played by Stephen Yen, and he is just amazing, and I have a massive man crush on that guy, <laughs> but this is just so cute, I love pop, or well, Funko and um, pop figures, and I want to collect more of The Walking Dead ones, I um, just think they are awesome, and I'm so, so glad they released Glenn, because he is just so cute, and I can now put it back to, uh, back over, I have the dude and um, grew from um, Spickle Me over there. I also have, I need to, what I need to bring over is more pop figures from my dad, which I have um, a Gremlins one, and I also have a Mars Attacks uh, one. But this is just so cool to have Glenn, because this is so cute. So I've got the little uh, rifle in his hands and stuff, and I'm so happy to have this. Next two that my mum got me are films. Um, this is one film that I've wanted to own for so, so long. And I just never picked it up before. It's a film that many people think is bad, but it's a film, yes, that has its bad moments and stuff, but it's just so blimmin' fun and I love it for it. Um, the Garbage Pail Kids movie. This, I asked for it, yes, my mum got it for me, and I want to thank her so, so much for getting this for me, because this is a film that you can just sit down and just have so much fun with, just because it's so cheesy, but it's so, so great. The font on this DVD case is Comic Sans as well, which is just amazing, but I absolutely love this. Direct. This is released by Second Sight as well. I've been realising recently that Second Sight released some really great stuff and some really old and obscure films and just some gems. And this, is, this is a gem right here. The next one she got me is The, the Happiness, happiness of the uh, Katy Karas. Um, I'm trying to get all of um, Mike Takashi's or Takashi Mike's films, um, and this, a lot of the other films are very, very weird, but this is more, it's a zombie film, but it's a comedy, and um, I have not seen this before, but it's meant to be like a, with the sound of music, and a comedy as well, and like Empire and Total Film, and give it four stars, so it's got some pretty good reviews, um, and I always liked Art and Cinema's releases, and I'm really looking forward to watching this. Um, <laughs> I showed my friend this to Q today, and um, if you've seen that, and they were just like, well, "What? What is this? This is horrible." <laughs> yes, I showed them that. Um, the other stuff that my mum got me uh, is also put it out. <sighs> my mum got me Gone Girl, which is Gillian uh, Flynn, and um, I want to read this before the David Fincher um, Ben Affleck film comes out, and I'm really, really excited for that film. I think it looks like it's going to be amazing, but I want to read this because I always like to do that um, with stuff. And then the f the final issue of uh, Sweet Tooth with Jess Jeff Lemire um, is just an incredible, incredible writer, and I'm really happy to have this because the Sweet Tooth series is one of the best, best graphic novels 
that I have ever read, and it's just, it's like an apocalypse, it's like Mad Max and just things mixed together in this apocalypse world, and it's so great and nice, and just, it's amazing, amazing writing, um, and then, I'm just going to, I'll do these books quick, quick. my sister, um, Jasmine, also got me dog shaming, <laughs> good dogs gone bad, as you know, I just love, love to have all these dog books, and dog shaming is where, you know, people find their dogs have done something, and, um, they put like a sign on them, uh, which sounds really cute. That dog. Um, so you put they put all signs on them, and um, it's just it's just cute. This is, these books are just great, and I love them. And the dogs always look so guilty, but it's just this 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 is a really nice book to read as well. And I always love looking through these books. And let's just go on to what my sister Haley got me, um, which I'm very very happy with. She got me um, Snowpiercer. This is the first one, um, one the escape. Um, I'm so I'm so excited to see the film. I've been hearing amazing things about it. Um, I'm gonna read this, and then I'll probably read the second one. But I'm really really happy that um, the, that she got me this because I've been wanting to read this for quite a while, even before the film and stuff. Um, but I've just heard amazing things about it. And then she also got me Adrian uh, to mine. To mine. Um, I also I read his his book Shortcomings recently, which is just a really nice book. It's it's like about about relationships and stuff, but it's really well written and really good. And this is Summer Blonde, which I I wish people said like read this as well because it, this is, Shortcomings was after this, and people said that they thought that um, Shortcomings felt very similar to the subjects of this. But I'm really really excited to read this because this stuff is really nice and well written. I'm looking forward to reading that. And then we will go on to all the presents from my dad now um got my dad just went out with the blu-rays and was awesome with this got me chasing amy um one that i'm doing for a very long time so i'm really happy to have that i'm trying to get all kevin smith films on blu-ray crimson wing i love 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 disney nature documentaries and this just looks great about flamingos looking forward to watching that um darren aronofsky's the fountain i've been wanting to watch this for ages and I'm really looking forward to watching it. Um, and then the next one, this is a blind, pretty much a blind sort of. Uh, I recommend, I recommended it, and um, put it on my because I gave me, sent my dad a list of stuff that I wanted. Um, because I'm living here, they wanted me to send a lift so they could buy me stuff. Um, and this was just blind, but it just sounds so great to me. And Eureka have been releasing some really great stuff. Um, recently. that is Mad Detective. I'm really looking forward to watching this. And it's just I've, been, I've heard some very great things about it, and I'm looking forward, really looking forward to watching it. And then the last one is Yataman, another Takashi Mike or Mike Takashi um, a film. This is uh, based on the anime, which I have never seen, but I want to check that out as well. But you can't buy the anime on um, on DVD or anything. But I'm trying to get all of Takashi Mike's films. So this is a robot film, but I'm just looking really forward to, to watching this. And then the final things I'm going to go into are my dad got me um, some two Jeffrey Brown books. So Jeffrey Brown, you will know, did some of the Star Wars books recently. The uh, Little uh, Vader and Little Princess, the, those sort of things. It was like jokes in the Star Wars world and things. His stuff is just so nice. His first book that I read was um, Clumsy, which is about his relationship with his girlfriend, the downfalls of it, and the, the very personal things about it, and it was just a really depressing read. The end left me so depressed, the whole book left me depressed, but it was just, it was nice, it had this nice moments. it's all over the sort of the, the arguments and the nice moments of the relationship, and it just felt so real and was just so nicely done, and these Jeffrey Brown books are little things, a, men, a memoir in slices, um, looking really looking forward to reading these because his stuff is just so so good. Um, and then funny misshapen body. Um, just these are just so I I like read I like going away from reading superhero comics and just reading very realistic and real things about the real world. I still love reading comics about superheroes and superpowers and sort of other comic books and stuff, but I just really enjoy reading this sort of stuff as well. And if you would like me to start talking about more comic books and stuff, or maybe if you want to see comic book collections and stuff on my channel, say down there or whatever if any of you really watch this video. And I'm just going to do these last ones. These weren't birthday presents, but they arrived on my birthday from, from the Reddit Gift Exchange, which is, um, Reddit Gift Exchange is where you, um, you're in, it's in DVD collection, our DVD collection, I'll put the our DVD collection down there, if you collect DVDs and stuff, you can come onto the site and you can post your collection, and it's really like-minded and nice people on there, and Gift Exchange where you put your name on a list, and then 
people send you, you send somebody to someone and then another person sends you something, I sent some stuff to some, somebody and they really like this stuff, which I was happy about that, and then this was sent by Slayster on Reddit, in the Reddit gift exchange, and they were great, um, they got me chasing Amy as well, which I was, I was, well, I sent, because you have to send your wish list, um, and I sent my Amazon wish list, and I was really worried that someone's going to get me off of that, but it's alright, so I've kept the one, that, the chasing Amy that my dad got me, and my friend now has, um, chasing Amy, because he didn't have it on Blu-ray, um, my friend Joe, um, but now, um, I'm just going to show these ones quickly, they got me Airplane, which I've been wanting to have on Blu-ray for ages, I love, love, love this, this film, it's one of the best parody films, and then we have a Scream 4, I own Scream 1 and 2 on Blu-ray, but I wanted to get Scream 4, I'm not a big scan fan of Scream 3, and the only time I would ever buy Scream 3 on Blu-ray is when it goes down to like £2, um, Equilibrium, there's a lot of people that don't like this, but I thought this was a good action sci-fi film with Christian Bale, and then the last one is The Dark Crystal, um, some of you could be like, how? Have you never seen it? Never seen The Dark Crystal. And I'm really, really excited to watch this, and I'll be watching it very, very soon. But that's all. That's my birthday haul um, and the Reddit gift exchange stuff. And I'm really, really happy. I have had an awesome birthday. Um, being 23 is is good because I've matured more in life like this. I first When I first started on YouTube, I was a kid that was doing cinnamon challenge in their garden or a kid that was just talking to a camera about random things i wasn't talking about movies i wasn't i wasn't properly talking about anything really i was a kid that started out with videos not even knowing what to talk about i did random videos when i first started out making videos online i was a kid that was doing lego videos lego stop motion on on the old google video when it was about um and yeah that's how i first started out and then i came over to youtube um, I was, <laughs> I was on YouTube from the beginning, yeah, um, and I was just a kid that was, I, the first, I had channels before Vegan Luke, and I was uploading, like, one time I uploaded just me at school, running, like, I, had, I took a camera to school and stuff, running through the playground things, and I used to just make stuff as a kid, the first time I was making videos was on a camcorder with a tape, I used to have the firewire, I used to have to import it all on the tape and stuff, yes, I filmed stuff on tape when I first started, um, in twenty in two thousand nine, um, I was about to say twenty twenty uh, zero nine. There, um, I started like in two thousand eight, I think, when I was first a new genre film stuff on a camcorder, things, and it was fun. And I feel like I've expanded with growing up and stuff. And I found, I handed in my final piece of work to uni. Final piece of work was Indignation. If you could all go and watch that on my channel at the moment, like it and stuff, and just comment, give me feedback and things. I would really appreciate it, so I can improve on future films but this indignation i think is my my best film i've made yet like i'm really 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 happy with it because square was a film my my last film was something that i was disappointed with um and but i'm really happy with indignation because it's just i had deemed in cinematography and he did some incredible cinematography with it, just some really really great stuff and i, I love working with dean because he is, isn't my one well, one of my best friends and I've known him for years and it's just I'm so happy that I've even after college we still hang out we still do stuff and it's just he's one of my best friends and it's just it's nice to be able to work with him again and have him help and I'm glad with the friends that I make I made at uni like my friend Scott and Sam and just growing up has been good getting to the age of 23 I've just, I still have the same friends, I hung out with the same friends today that I've known for seven years, and it's just nice that I've had those friends for that long, I have many, all my best friends and stuff, and I'm happy with my life and things, and I think the times in my life when I was younger, of thinking of, like, silly thoughts, and thinking that my life wasn't going to be good and things, it's good, and this is good, living here and stuff and this this isn't what this isn't how I thought I was gonna be when I grew up and stuff. It wasn't I didn't think, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a kid that goes to uni and stuff and I enjoy making films and things and hopefully I'll have a job in film and stuff in a year or so or whatever because I'm still putting myself out there. Um I'm putting i I'm um movie pilot have now asked me to well not to properly put stuff out I'm a contributor on their site and things and more companies have contacted me and things and it's just it's just I'm not I'm like I'm not changing how much channels and things because I'm just um, trying to stick to the same things that I've always been doing. I don't want to 
be a sellout like some people would class it as if I went to go and work because I, I had the had the chance a little while back of being with um, a bigger company and stuff and getting more views on my videos and making more money but then I thought at the end of the day it's it, I'm not on YouTube for making the money that I do make I make a I'm not saying I make a lot because I don't make a lot um, as you can see I'm only, I, I, I reached 1,600 subscribers the other day and that is awesome I'm meant to be speaking about my birthday stuff right now but I thought as I'm 23 now, maybe speak about how my life has changed over the years. When I first started out on YouTube, it was just something for the fun of it, and it still is for the fun of it. Yes, I do make a little bit of money off of it. It's not too much. It, is, it, it sometimes helps me with paying for things and stuff, but um, it is awesome that that many people watch me now, that that many people have subscribed to me now. 1,600, I want to thank all of you and everything, and turning 23... It's just cool, pretty much. And people moan about growing up, but growing up is a good thing, because you don't want to be stuck in being a young kid all the time. Because growing up, you you learn more things about the world and your life, and maturing and expanding on things, and it's good. And this video has gone on for a little bit too long. But that is all for today. I shall see you all again very, very soon. Please go and watch Indignation, and say what you like the best about this video, and. Thank you very much to 1,600 of you that have all subscribed. You all rule and are awesome, awesome people. And it means a lot. And I'm happy with everything. And I'm going to go now because I have to screen my film at uni tomorrow. And I'm so nervous about showing it to people. Ah, goodbye.